we bless the Lord for this morning and we give him all the praise and all the glory indeed his name shall be exalted in all the heavens and in all the earth from the rising of the sun to the place where he exists the name of the Lord shall be praised and exalted and magnified I want us to spend some time this morning to pray to pray for ourselves to pray for um, the church in which we find ourselves and we fellowship and bless the name of the Lord. I want us to spend some time to pray, um, speak in tongues, uh, to edify ourselves. <speaking in Spanish> Your faith 
is growing phenomenally. Your faith is growing phenomenally. Your love for each other is developing wonderfully. Um, Ephesians 1, 15 to 21. So here, um, Apostle Paul is praying for the church in Ephesus. He says, for this reason, ever since I heard about your faith in the Lord Jesus and your love for all the saints. So again, we see faith in the Lord Jesus and love for all the saints. And he says, I have not stopped giving thanks for you, remembering you in my prayers. I keep asking that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the glorious Father, may give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation so that you may know him better. So this is going to be our first prayer point. Then it continues, I pray also that the eyes of your heart may be enlightened in order that you may know the hope to which he has called you, the riches of his, that is Jesus' glorious inheritance in the saints. And it's incomparably great power for all of us who believe. Okay, so I want us to pray first on to the, to the Lord our God that our faith as individuals, our faith as a body together, our faith shall grow phenomenally. How does our faith grow? Faith grows by doubt giving way to belief in the Lord. Where there is no faith, there is doubt. And doubt is not believing in the Lord and what he is capable of doing. But the Lord expects us to grow in faith. And our faith should grow phenomenally. It means that my faith today should be higher than my faith yesterday, than my faith last year, last two years. Um, it shouldn't be that someone meets me tomorrow and sees that the things that I use I, I used to believe or hold on to or the trust, the confidence that I had in the Lord has dwindled, has diminished. Our faith has to grow phenomenally like the church in Thessalonica, like the church in Ephesus. So I want us to pray that the Lord will help us that our faith in him shall grow. Shall we pray? Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we bless you. In Jesus' name, your word says that faith comes by hearing, by hearing the word of God. Lord, we have heard your word. We have read your word. We have listened to testimonies of things that you have done to the people of God in the word of God, the healings, the miracles, O oh Lord my God. We have heard, O oh Lord my God, of trials, O oh Lord, that men of God, women of God have gone through prayers that you have answered, O oh Lord my God. We thank you, O oh Lord my God, for faith, O oh Lord my God, that has made, O oh Lord my God, our brethren, O oh Lord, hold on to you in times past, in times of difficulties, O oh Lord my God, the confidence that they have, O oh Lord my God, in you, and we pray in the name of Jesus. I pray for myself, I pray for every brother and sister of mine, in the name of Jesus, I pray, O oh Lord, that our faith, O oh Lord my God, on an individual basis, on a collective basis, O oh Lord, that our faith shall grow phenomenally. In the name of Jesus, I pray that our faith shall grow phenomenally. In the name of Jesus, I give way to faith in the that have done it for a brother or a sister. Oh Lord, my God, you will do it for us also. In the name of Jesus, I pray that our faith, O oh Lord, shall grow. In the name of Jesus, I pray that as a church, O oh Lord, my God, our faith shall grow. Our faith shall grow. Our faith shall grow. In the name.
name of Jesus, not not little by little, O oh Lord, but phenomenally in the name of Jesus. Let your word, O oh Lord, my God, quicken our spirits in the name of Jesus. Let your word enter into our spirits in the name of Jesus. Let your word enter into our spirits to strengthen us, to believe in your word, to believe in your word, to believe in your word, to be doers of your word and not hearers only in the name of Jesus to believe in your word, to hold on to your word in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray, O oh Lord, that our faith shall increase, our faith shall increase in the name of Jesus. I pray for every one of us and in any area of our lives, O oh Lord, where faith is dying, O oh Lord my God, I pray that there shall be quickening, there shall be quickening by the Spirit of God. There shall be remembrance by the Word of God. There shall be remembrance by the Spirit of God in the name of Jesus that we shall not lose faith, we shall not lose hope, we shall not be afraid in the name of Jesus that we shall know that you are with us, that you have our back in the name of Jesus, that you have not forgotten about us in the name of Jesus. I declare the Lord, you are with us. You have not forgotten about us in every area of our lives. In the name of Jesus, whether it relates to work, finances, oh Lord, my God, family issues. In the name of Jesus, of issues, oh Lord, we declare that you are with us. You hear our prayers. You have not forgotten about us. And we have faith in you. We have faith in you. In the name of Jesus. We have faith in you, and we know, O oh Lord my God, that you will hear our prayer, that you will hear our prayer in the name of Jesus. I pray, O oh Lord my God, that any one of us, O oh Lord my God, who is on the verge of giving up, we pray in the name of Jesus. We pray strength, we pray strength, we pray strength into our brothers, into our sisters, in the name of Jesus. I receive strength, O oh Lord my God, from brothers, from sisters, O oh Lord my God, to carry on in the name of Jesus, in the faith, O oh Lord my God. We pray that our faith, O oh Lord my God, shall grow phenomenally. Our faith shall grow phenomenally. In the name of Jesus, we shall not grow tired or weary. In the name of Jesus, our faith, O oh Lord my God, shall grow. I declare that our faith shall grow. I declare that our faith shall grow. It shall grow phenomenally. It shall grow phenomenally. In the mighty name of Jesus. Our faith shall grow phenomenally. In the mighty name of Jesus. I want us to take the second part of the scripture which has to do with the love for God's people. And <clears throat> It says that the Lord, will, we pray that the Lord will give us the spirit of wisdom and revelation so that we shall know Him better. I want us to pray that the Lord will bless us with the spirit of revelation, the spirit of wisdom and revelation so that we shall know Him better. Shall we pray? That's um, verse 17, Ephesians 1, 17. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray. We pray in the name of Jesus for the spirit of wisdom and revelation. In the name of Jesus, the spirit of wisdom, the spirit of revelation, which comes from the spirit of God. In the mighty name of Jesus, to reveal to us Jesus in the name of Jesus, so that we shall know you better. Because, O oh Lord my God, by our minds, O oh Lord, we cannot know you better. Your word says that the spirit gives birth to the Spirit. Therefore, we pray in the name of Jesus that by the Spirit of God, by the Spirit of God, by the Spirit of wisdom, by the Spirit of revelation, in the name of Jesus, we shall receive insight, understanding into who Jesus is. In the mighty name of Jesus, we shall receive insight into the Lordship of Jesus. We shall receive insight into the authority of Jesus shall receive insight into the eternal power in the Lord Jesus. We shall receive insight into the 
of the power of Jesus. I pray that, Lord, we shall know you better in the name of Jesus. Not knowing you, O oh Lord, my God, just in our heads, O oh Lord, my God, but, Lord, in the way we experience you, in the mighty name of Jesus, the Lord, we shall exercise the authority of Jesus. We shall exercise the power of Jesus. We shall exercise the mandate of Jesus. We shall bring the glory of Jesus, even in this last day, so Lord, my God, because your word says that we are the light of the world. We are the salt of the earth. We pray in the name of Jesus, the Lord, our understanding of you, shall not be in O Lord, but by the spirit of wisdom and revelation, we shall know you better in the name of Jesus. I pray, I want us to pray that the Lord will help us to, that our love for one another shall also grow wonderfully. According to the word of God in Ephesians chapter 1, 3 and 4, I want us to pray that the Lord will help us. It is one thing to belong to a church and then you just come in, maybe walk out, just say hello to everybody. How are you? Have a blessed week. Have a you know, blessed day and then walk away. Um, and then it's another thing, really laughing one another being there as real true brothers and sisters in Christ. You know, really bonding, really laughing, showing true love. I want us to pray that the Lord will help us. That everything that prevents us from loving wonderfully shall be removed. That the Lord will help us to love wonderfully, shall we pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray. We bless your name. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we bring ourselves before you in the name of Jesus. As the body of Christ, O oh Lord, my God, your word says, O oh Lord, my God, that you fit us together, you compact us together, O oh Lord, my God, you link us, O oh Lord, as parts of the body of Christ, by ligaments, O oh Lord, my God, so that we become, you know, one in Christ, O oh Lord. We pray in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord will help us to love one another. In the name of Jesus, help us to love one another, to like one another. In the name of Jesus, to seek the highest good of one another. In the name of Jesus, to be there for one another, O oh Lord, my God. To sincerely love one another, to seek, O oh Lord, my God, that we all grow together in unity in Christ in the name of Jesus. I pray, O oh Lord, my God, that everywhere there is this unity, O oh Lord, my God, let that this unity be removed, O oh Lord. Let it be replaced, O oh Lord, my God, with love. Everywhere there is mistrust, O oh Lord, let that mistrust, O oh Lord, give way to trust, O oh Lord. Everywhere there has been hate, O oh Lord, let that hate, O oh Lord, my God, be replaced, O oh Lord, my God, with sincere love. In the name of Jesus, I pray, O oh Lord, that everywhere there is fear, O oh Lord, my God, let it give way, O oh Lord, my God, to to trust, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. I pray that, Lord, you will help us to bond together, to bond together, to love one another. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, to, to be there for one another, O oh Lord, my God, to be helpful to one another. In the name of Jesus, to show kindness to one another in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray, O oh Lord my God, that you will help us that our faith shall grow wonderfully together in Jesus' name. I want us to lastly look at Ephesians chapter 4, 14 to 16. This was shared with us on on Sunday, Ephesians chapter 4, 14 to 15 says, 
then we will no longer be infants tossed back and forth by the waves and blown here and there by the teaching and by the handicraft in a soft way that it is speaking. It's speaking to We all grew up together to be the head of the Christ. At 16, he says, from in the whole body, joined and held together, every supporting staff. In, in joining and in fitting, like as, as we learned on Sunday, or as we were taught on Sunday, it's not an easy process if a carpenter is bringing is joining wood together it's not an easy process it goes through the wood goes through some storing goes through some uh, planing goes through some knocking with hammer goes through some and um, being held tightly together sometimes overnight sometimes this um when glue is applied So that the the faith. I want us to pray to God that whatever is in us that needs to be pruned, that needs to be removed, that needs to be chiseled out, in order that we shall fit um, perfectly. Um, whatever our role is in the body of Christ, that the Lord will help us. That we pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray to you. The Lord will help us in the name of Jesus. That we shall be joined together in the name of Jesus. Perfectly fit with the body of Christ. We pray that everything in us that needs to do. And let them be secure. the Lord will hold us, lamp of us to be without going to the body of Christ. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we bless you for this morning. We give you all the praise and all the praise. We thank you that you are the one who answers prayer. Also pray commitment us into your hands as we go through the day, go before us. Bless everyone of us. Bless us in our going out and coming in. Bless our hands with that faith in everything that we do. Let your hand be upon us. Show us your favor, your grace, your mercy. Jesus' name. Amen.